In this exercise, we will clone some objects in the video using Clone Stamp and After Effects. So before starting, we need some changes to the workspace in After Effects. From the menu, go to Window, Workspace, and select Paint. To use the Clone Stamp tool, double-click on the video layer to open the layer, select Clone Stamp from the menu, and click on the Stamp icon. Now from the right of the screen, go to the Paint option and check these options. Mode on the Normal. Channels set on the RGBA. The duration set on the constant. So the next step for using Clone Stamp is brushes. I'm using soft rounded brushes. You can choose any brush you want and suitable for your project. On the video layer, hold the Alt button and click one time on the object we want to clone it, release the Alt button and start drawing. You can see the object has been cloned, but we need some change on the clone position. With the selection tool, select the layer from the timeline and double tap on the U button on the keyboard. You can use the diameter to change the clone stamp dimension. For the best result, you can change the clone position by enabling the watch icon next to the clone position. If you want to change the scale or position of the cloned object, close and open the Transform Clone to see options. Now to make some difference between the original object and the cloned object, we can change the source time shift. For example, in this project, I changed the source time shift from 0 to 24 frames. For you to understand better, I have prepared another example for you that you can see below. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Please write any questions in the comments. Good luck. Thank you.